Hello everyone, the missing element on emulators is finally here. On 86 box dev build 2983, you can finally use shaders on your machines. That's mind blowing, because that was literally the only thing stopping you from having the full blown 80s, 90s experience on PC. So look at that, I'm going to bring up this machine, which is running Windows 3.0. And it's already got the shader applied. Look at how amazing and realistic it looks. Like you got the distortion, you got the curvature, just like you would with a real CRT panel. And it even does hurt your eyes a little bit, just like CRTs would originally. Hence why they got eventually replaced by LCDs and stuff, which are much safer. Generally, much safer. Sure, sure eyes. And like lower radiation as well. But that's not a point. Anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, it's self explanatory, I guess. Like, look at this beautiful thing. Finally, shaders. And it does make quite a difference, honestly, because it was that missing element from emulation because it could get like the old software and stuff and obviously very realistically so because it's a low level emulation. But there was that, you know, you could not relate very well if you're from that era, if you had a CRT panel, you're going to definitely associate, you know, old OS is like Windows 3, Windows 3.11, Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98, and so on with a CRT. You remember? Using them on normal flat LCDs just, it is cool as well, but it just doesn't bring the same nostalgia that having it looking like and shaped like it would be back in the day because LCDs were not common on, on PCs, on desktop PCs. I mean, laptops already had like early LCDs, early TN panels that were obviously flat, but you know, most people had desktops instead, which were cheaper and computers in general were very expensive. So that also speaks volumes. And my God, does it make it more immersive? If, if you make it bigger, you can even see all those scan lines and stuff very defined and it's, it's so like the colors are so close to what a real CRT would bring. I'm not sure if it's because my panels an, I, an IPS panel, which brings like a very close to real life color palette and stuff. So maybe that does help a little bit, but God, like this is insane. Like the, the white is just like, just like how I, I remember from my old Windows 95 PC. It's like it, going back to the past in a way <laughs> straight from your PC and it can basically transform your average LCD into a good old CRT for some fun even gaming if you feel like doing so how about some Tetris <laughs> for instance look at that look at how vivid the colors are it's brilliant I actually brilliant. Really, let's try and play some Tetris, which I'm gonna fail at. But oh, there we go. Uh, oop, oop. There you go. Just know how the colors are brilliant. It's just like how I remember. I think it even emulates like the sort of laggy, the refresh rate and stuff. It's wow. <laughs> it's. It's just great. I mean, even though CRTs got like better refresh rate than actual um, LCDs in general, unless it's like a very high end gaming LCD. Oh my God. I can't breathe about a Tetris as you can tell, but it's not a point. <laughs> it's totally not a point here. Just demonstrating. Oh no, not enough time. It's way too fast. My brain can just not think fast enough. Shameful. But this is literally the thing that was missing from PC emulators. 
like that little element that makes a difference but don't think much about it but when you know when you put your mind to it i mean it's just a it's just a shader but it 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 it's like you don't really think it makes that difference but once you look at it once it, everything just clicks you know it just makes sense like you go like oh my god yes how come i never actually Consider that. There you go. I failed. There you go. It's game over. But you go like, you go insane. Like, I never thought of that. And it does actually make quite a massive difference. This is amazing. It just clicks. Like, the first time I apply the shader and you look at it and go, my God, this is glorious. Like, this is actual, you know, this is an actual trip to the past. You're just not you know virtualizing it i mean it's not even virtualizing per se because it's emulation but still like it it's not just a virtual machine anymore it's a living machine that connects you straight back with the past <laughs> in a way you know what i mean okay let's get to windows 95 now i got a fresh windows 95 machine to demonstrate how cool the crt looks there as well uh super long for today so yeah, let's close this. Yeah, I want to exit Windows 95 games there. You can see you got the CRT going as well. Pentium MMX 200 megahertz, which is great. Let's see if this is going to work. System disk booting from hard disk. There you go. You can see, you can tell the curvature a lot better now. It's a lot more visible. Is out there in your face. This one got a Trio 64, as far as I remember. Yeah, it's a Trio 64. It's got, see, advanced properties, Trio 64 V2, 800, 600. It doesn't look as great if you pop up the rest. Now Windows 3.0, if I'm not wrong, it was a 1024, 768. That's why it looked slightly worse than this. This looks very clean. So the lower the res, the cleaner it looks, the more convincing it looks, more close to what you would expect from a CRT panel. 256 colors. This one is uh, pretty much a fresh install. The only thing it's got other than vanilla Windows 95 is NASCAR. And that's about it. Sadly, it doesn't run it. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell. Display adapters, it's the S3, the disk drives. Oh, it's, uh, it's so, so insane how the colors are accurate. Like, it, it just brings that CRT vibe, you know. It just brings me straight back to my old PC, which was slightly worse than this one. Actually, a lot worse. 46, 60 megabits of RAM. This got like 128 and 200 megahertz CPU. Who am I kidding? But still very nice experience overall i'm gonna show you how to apply the shaders because at this point you might be as fascinated as it was at first sight right that's what i'm hoping so you go <laughs> you go here on uh renderer and you change it to open shell 3.3 core remember it's only it's only going to be available on the dev build the normal builds don't have it so open gl 3.3 then you go open gl options and you select the shader and then here, uh, it's GLSL Shaders Master. It's on GitHub. I'm going to put the link down in the video description so that you guys can download the shaders and apply them as well. But yeah, the shader I'm using is CRT Lots. Lot Lottes. I assume the person's name is like Latte. It's Lottes. <laughs> shaders. I'm not sure. Perhaps uh, there's a bunch. Like there's this Etron as well, which. Looks slightly different colors are very, very vibrant to the point to burn your eyes. Because remember, this start menu bar is gray and it looks white here. It's like extremely, extremely bright. It it, it makes it look, look quite different, honestly. Like, look at this. My God, what the hell is this? Like, the colors are off. Perhaps that's the whole purpose of this specific shader. You have like uh, ZFast CRT. Uh, look how it changed again. You can see all the lines brilliant. And then we go again, change shaders because we want to see more, right? 
So let's try this one. My god, what the hell is this? Okay, it's not as bad once we make it bigger. Like, it's like a sort of low quality CRT. Look at how blurry it is. Like, my Jesus. That is blurry. I, uh, I've, I sadly don't have any memory of owning such a bad panel like this. But the color distortion is so crazy realistic. Like, my God, look at this. So it's got like a sort of red underline. Like near the black, if you look closely, you can see there is a tiny tad bit of red. Like, it, it simulates the tube so well. Like, it's almost like it converts your monitor into a tube. It's, it's insane. Like, insane. And now it's went black. <laughs> the renderer is on top here. I crashed it. Really? Yeah, apparently. Oh, okay. So it goes full screen, but once you go back, it does die. That's a glitch, I assume. Yes, 100% not intended. <laughs> Let's shut this down. Actually, yeah, we got to shut down because how else would... Actually, never mind. We could go here. Let's try a different shader. Let's try... CRTPI. Ooh, what is this? Okay, this is much better. Still doesn't work. It's full screen bound. You can tell the colors are also very vibrant. Although this one is not as noticeable as the other ones. You can barely see the lines. Perhaps a high end CRT. What do I know? Uh, let's try open gel. It's like shader. C. NES, so that's the Super Nintendo, I assume you can see the lines once again. This one doesn't have any sort of curvature. Uh, OpenGL slash shader. Then we have a dot mask. What does this dot mask do? Oh, yeah, it's a dot mask. <laughs> it's straight up a dot mask. Like, what else would it be? Uh, what else? Uh, what do we have here? Easy mode. So this easy mode, what does it do? Oh, yeah, you can see the dots once again. It's not very, wow. I assume they are mainly for Super Nintendo, for 2D games, obviously. A smubber step. What is a smubber step? It is this. So it's got quite a bit of blur, but nothing really. Let's shut it down and turn it back on so that we can see the shaders as we switch without having to go full screen. That would be much easier. So I assume we can just hit hard reset at this point. Oh, we got to close the machine because the render is still here, lost without. Uh, yeah, this is a, Yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't. There you go. Then we start it back up. And now we have the image. As you can tell, even though it's flat, you can really tell by the font and how it's alias that it's not stock by any means. Okay, so how about we do something really fancy? Something that's not CRT, actually. How about we go full nuts? Uh, alert, by the way, your eyes are going to hurt like hell. After I do this. Just, just be... Oh my god. <laughs> That's a VHS. As you can tell, it's got a lot of... My god. What the hell is this? It, it, it looks like when my converter from uh, HDMI to VGA was dying, the image was almost like that, but worse. But look, it's moving all over the... <laughs> There's a static one, which I assume looks better. So let's check that out. It's like shader. There's this static one. Much, much better, as you can tell. Wow, it's very vivid. Like, the blacks are very, very vivid. It's amazing. Still, um, there's the muddle word one. My god! What the hell is this? My sweet, <laughs> it's got a curvature, it's like uh, using Windows 95 with an adapter on your old 80s TV. 
and it's brilliant. It's got a lot of noise, just like you would expect, and it's very dark. Well, there's this rewind one. What does it do? Absolutely nothing. Let's try different shaders. So, scan lines, scan lines, shaders, scan line. What does that do? Nothing. Okay, so perhaps this one is not really very visible. It's like shader. It's a shader, 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 shader. There's stock. There's it's a ball and TSC. They don't, they don't change much from what I've seen. Let's get back to good old CRT, the one I was using, this one. Look, it's brilliant. So far, it's my favorite. Like, it's just great. Like, it's got the curvature. Images, like, visible enough. The colors don't really hurt your eyes that much when it's not minimized. Look at that. That's the true Windows 95 experience right there. Your average uh, mid to late 90s CRT panel. Just great. Works wonderfully well for DAWs and uh, all this stuff. So... Highly recommended shader there, my favorite so far. So it's got a bunch more. You need to try one by one so that you find your favorite. Look at that, there's a bunch. Like literally, there's a sharpened one, a 3D motion blur. My god, motion blur, mixed frames, response time, motion blur, simple. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, this just made it darker. Render uh, shaders. Bray. Rewind. Nah, nothing going on there. Shame. We could perhaps um, procedural omni scale scan lines. You just windowed Ooh, this cubic. What does it do? Mm, does nothing. I assume this one is really for video games. No, specifically borders anti aliasing. We got anti aliasing. AA shader four times. So, are you ready to look at anti aliased Windows 95? Ooh, it looks very anti aliased. <laughs> and the colors make it very nice as well, very vivid. I do love that. But uh, what else do we have here to check out? GPU. What does that do? 3D effects. <gasps> Simulates 3D effects card. Oh yeah, this is more for gaming. Never mind. It's more for gaming feature than anything. It simulates the 3D effects uh, if, you know, the mode is operandi in a way. It's very nice, but the, the emulator already emulates the 3D effects low level with its features. So that's brought together. It's part of it. So we have procedural. Ooh, there's a bunch. Input time, Clover, Batman. <laughs> My God, what the hell? It replaces your entire screen. My Lord, there's a sharpened, uh, fast sharpen, adaptive sharpen. Uh, yeah, very sharp, indeed. So if, let's go back to the CRT ones. Because I like CRT a lot. It's the ones I can relate. There's this uh, fake lot. Ooh. So this is like lots, but worse. Yeah, it's got like more visible dots. It's, I assume like a, a very low quality CRT, budget CRT. This doesn't, it lacks the extra definition. Um, well. Back to the old faithful, which is this one. Yeah, that's the one. Let's check this E64 first. Oh, it's just a Nintendo 64 shader, I guess. I'm not sure. Could be that, perhaps something else. Back to the one I have been enjoying the most so that we can end this video. Oh, it was a very fun tryout. Different, a lot of different shaders. And so far from personal experience, this one is the one that looks the most uh, accurate to me. 
to my experience, I mean, to the monitor I had, some people could say, hey, this do, does not resemble the CRT I had. Okay, this does resemble the one I had, the one I can relate to. It's, it all comes down to personal preference. As you can see, there's a bunch of options to choose from. So you can, you know, have a lot of fun with that. And if you want to get rid of them, just go and remove shader or just change the render back to um to sdl or uh vnc or whatever you want to use as a renderer so for myself i'm going to keep it with this one because it's just great and it makes emulation better for me could not be your thing and it's you know it's a totally personal thing once again it all comes down to personal preference and uh it's valid you know not liking it or liking perhaps the VHS one instead, but yeah. So I'm gonna call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed this new and brief video. See you guys, hopefully in the next one. And uh, reminding you guys that feedback is appreciated. So if you guys have any sort of input, it's more than welcome. Comment sections right down below. Don't be shy. I truly, truly appreciate it as I'm trying to improve the channel as much as I can. So goodbye, y'all. Take care. Adios.